entourage of Antony trying to do deal with Manchester United. Brazilian forward Antony's representatives are reportedly in Europe trying to thrash out a deal with Manchester United. Antony, who played for two years under Eric Ten Hag at Ajax, is believed to be valued at around £51 million by the Dutch club. According to Gold Brassel, the player's representatives have flown to Europe to try and speed up a potential deal with the player, believed to keen on a move to England to link up with his former boss. Ten Hag, who has already begun work at Manchester United, is embarking on a difficult rebuild at the club this summer, after a season in which much of the squad struggled to live up to the standards expected at the club. A number of players, including Paul Pogba, Jesse Lingard and Nemanja Matic, have already announced they will be leaving the club this summer, with others expected to follow them out of the door. This leaves room for the club to make a move for Antony, who it is claimed could be the first signing of the Ten Hag era. The report from Gold Brassel say that the intention of his representative's trip to Europe is to try and close a deal, which they intimate could lead to the player's future being decided in the next few days. In addition to Ten Hag being a strong negotiating chip for the club, the relations between Manchester United and Ajax are said to be strong. Edwin van der Sar, a legendary figure at both clubs and now a senior football executive with the Dutch club, is believed to be a key part of those strong relations. It has previously been claimed that Donny van de Beek's signing from Ajax two years ago was resultant upon those strong relations. Antony endured a tough end to the season, having suffered an ankle injury that kept him sidelined from April onwards. However, prior to that he had enjoyed a stellar campaign in Amsterdam. The Brazilian scored 12 goals and provided 10 assists across 33 games in all competitions for the Dutch champions. Meanwhile, Antony also played nine times for Brazil across their successful World Cup qualification campaign.